People buy UV stuff all the time and it's fantastic, but what do you really do with it? And why do we use ultraviolet light? People will know UV as these ultraviolet tubes. This is a four foot tube and it'll be 40 watts. And these we used to put in sensory rooms all the time. Still do, but these days there's different alternatives. The other kinds of UVs you can get are these mini tubes. These are for pubs, bars, clubs, anywhere where they're trying to detect banknotes that are forged. This will work reasonably well. Possibly the best alternative these days, cost effective wise, is UV LED torches. These cost about £9.95 or around $20 if you're in New Zealand. And they're fantastic because they're really portable, you can store them and you can really localize the light wherever you want it. But any of these options are going to work with anything that's fluorescent. A lot of sensory rooms were white, but uh, you'll find that when we're looking at ultraviolet light, UV effects tend to get a little bit lost when we're against a white background. Have a look as I switch the lights out. So here we are, you can see against a white background it's not too bad, we're glowing reasonably well, but you know you're much better off using these against black. Because remember, I'm in a totally, well, pretty dark room at the moment. And most rooms that you're going to use ultraviolet stuff in is not going to be totally dark. Now immediately in, against a dark surface, you'll notice there's a big difference in the color contrast. And we haven't even put the lights out. As I start even in this kind of light, we're in a brightly lit room at the moment. You can see that the UV torch that's this one, is working really quite well. So, white reflects light, black soaks light in. So things are going to appear much brighter against a dark surface. Now watch what happens when we put the lights out. And you will see there's a definite brighter glow underneath ultraviolet light when it's against a dark surface. Now the reason why we use ultraviolet is because it makes things glow much brighter. We used to say around 40 times brighter. Now if we use ultraviolet things that means that the child, especially with a visual impairment, has got a much better chance of being able to fixate on something. For tracking skills UV light can make a heck of a difference. Tracking right to left, left to right, up and down. This can be a massive step for some of our kids because it is just so much brighter than normal light. Now, you need to watch for eye strain. You need to make sure that children are not getting too tired doing this because it is fairly intense and it can be very difficult for some of our kids. Convergence is something else. This is light that comes towards you and light that moves away from you. Accommodation is another thing we can work on. Lighting at different distances. So close to and then far away. Using a smaller target we may try scanning skills. So here I'm lighting the UV torch and I've just got one of the little balls and then let's light up a second one. So there we're practicing scanning between one object and another. You could do this on a child's tray. Just practice scanning between them all. Remember to give the child time to really really fixate and look at the glowing ball. Remember not all children will look from the front. Some of our kids will look from the side. So don't be surprised if you get quite a bit of head movement when they're really trying to look at something. Especially if one is a little bit more difficult to look at. See, that's very bright. This one is a little more dull, the pink one. You can see the difference in the brightness there between these two. Pop the pink one there, that's a lot darker. Pop the green one there, that's a lot brighter. Then brighter again is the orange and green. Try different colours, try different shapes. 
And remember, especially when you're working with kids who have cortical visual impairment, CVI, or if you're not sure about their vision, move the light to get some interest first. That sometimes works, not every time, but a lot of times it really, really will. Get that light moving. Not too much, not too fast, and keep the movement within the visual field of the child. In other words, where they can actually see it, or adult for that matter. Something like this UV string is really nice for just tracking around and creating a little bit of movement. Experiment with different colors. See if multicolored works better. See if a single color works better. It may be that somebody likes it really, really complex. Remember with cortical visual impairment, people do often say that red is one of the colors that our kids will really, really see. So maybe start with red and see how you get on. UV, it's about using anything. In some sensory kits, you even get these UV bubbles. These are fantastic. Touchable bubbles, they're wonderful, but they will create a proper mess. Now, if you can't find a dark room, what you might use in a classroom is one of these IKEA Billy bookcase inserts, but it's black. So this would make a nice little black light box. This is where your little UV tube might come in useful. Just pop it into there and then you should get a nice little bit of glow inside the box itself. Just throw the balls in there. But of course, as always, an ultraviolet torch, a flashlight is often going to be quite a lot brighter. But you can see inside there, we're creating quite a high color contrast, which is wonderful. I just shine the torch around there. Look, you can see the brightness from those. Obviously with the lights out, this is going to be fantastic. So there we go. You can see with the little UV tube, I've just created just a nice little dark room there. With an ultraviolet torch, obviously that's quite a lot brighter and will give us a much brighter color contrast. On the movie, you can see quite a bit of blue around the edges. Uh, our eyes don't actually see that blue. All we see is the glow. So a quick trip to Ikea uh, will be fantastic for this. So there you go, a few ideas on using ultraviolet light. Black background, black box. You could, of course, get a cardboard box and just put some paper in it, it would be fine. But these IKEA things, I do like these. I use these with iPads as well. Quite often we'll pop iPads into them uh, so that we're cutting down visual clutter around the iPad. But if you watch what happens, you see this is where these are great for schools, especially schools who haven't got very much storage space. You can just Pack it down like that, stand it up against the wall, injure away. So UV light is fabulous stuff. It really makes things glow tremendously well. But keep your sessions fairly short if you're working on visual stimulation. Use it because it's going to be fun. Use it with books, use it with all different kinds of things. Build it into science, build it into stories and things like that. Ultraviolet light can be a whole lot of fun. Flo Longhorn did a really good book years ago about using UV light in education. It was really fabulous. If you can track one down, see if you can get it because it was well worth a go. UV light, fantastic fun.